Fishing tackle can be expensive, and it only seems to be going up in price. But is it really worth all the money you're spending? Hi, welcome to Ramon Outdoors. My name is Ramon. I'm a new outdoorsman, and this is a channel where I share my experiences to hopefully entertain you or help you learn. And in this video, I'm going to share with you the fishing tackle I believe is worth the money and what is not. Now, if you're a tournament angler, a fishing guide, this video is not for you. This video is for your everyday angler, your weekend warrior who likes to go out, have fun fishing, or is just starting to learn how to fish. So the first item I want to talk about is tackle boxes. Now, you can buy some cheap ones and they'll do great for holding all your lures and terminal, but they're not gonna do much in protecting your fishing tackle. They warp, they break, they tend to hold in moisture, which can lead for all your hooks and all your terminal to rust. If you can afford it, I strongly recommend you spend a little bit more money so that way you're not replacing all your hooks and your other lures that frequently. Nowadays, you can buy tackle trays that have uh, moisture wicking technology in it, they help prevent rust. They're a little bit more durable and harder to break. That way you're not replacing tackle trays every season. It's taken me some time, but I've transitioned a lot of my tackle into these Plano Edge uh, tackle boxes. I've done this slowly over time. I tend to buy them around the holidays because they usually go on sale like Black Friday or around Christmas. These are the ones that I like to use, but you can use whichever ones that you're into. I strongly recommend upgrading your tackle boxes when you get a chance. Now the first item that isn't worth the money to me are tackle bags. You can, believe it or not, get away with a cheap backpack that's like 10 to $20 from like Walmart. I've even seen people going around with like those drawstring bags and sticking a few uh, tackle trays in there. If all you're doing is carrying your tackle along the bank or onto a boat, you don't really need to spring for that $100 plus tackle backpack. For example, this bad boy right here cost me about $50. It did come with tackle trays in it, but it does everything I needed to do. Hold my tackle, has cup holder, is super comfortable. You don't need to spring for that super expensive $100 big old bag. The second item that I found is actually worth it is fishing reels. I've tested reels that cost all the way down to $1.50, all the way up to $100. And I have noticed a difference. Now this isn't to say you can't find some budget friendly gems like the Shimano Sienna. I love that reel, but it really is true. You do get what you pay for when it comes to fishing reels. Some of them have better drag systems. Some of them have smoother reeling. Some of them are saltwater capable. For example, my favorite reel right now is the Shimano Nasi. It's a hundred dollar reel. It's saltwater rated and it is a perfect all around reel. My second item that's not worth the money is fishing line. Now again, before you start going crazy, this is for your everyday angler. This isn't for tournament pros. This isn't for fishing guides. This is for someone who just wants to go out and catch fish and have a good time. I purchased some really nice expensive line and I purchased some really budget friendly line. And I haven't noticed much of a difference between all of the big brands of fishing line. Usually the performance is relatively the same. And again, not a tournament pro, just going out fishing, catching fish for fun. I personally haven't noticed a difference. If you're starting out, just stick with the budget stuff, save some cash. My last item on the worth it list is fishing hooks. There are dozens, if not hundreds of budget friendly items available on Amazon, on Timu, on Wish. Hundreds of hooks for pennies on the dollar. But for the most part in my experience, they aren't actually worth getting. I bought packs in the past and a majority of the hooks were dull. Um, had to sharpen those hooks. Eventually it really isn't worth it to buy those really, really super cheap packs of hooks. Now that's not saying there aren't gems out there. The ones that I've used in the past, they just didn't really work out for me, but you might be able to find some that are usable. But for me, it's always been worth it to buy quality hooks and jigs from brands you know can deliver a good product. Usually if it's sitting in a big box store, it's good to go. Your Eagle Claw, Berkeley, Trocar, etc. I of course like mule jigs from Mule Fishing, but even house brands like Ozark Trail, uh, Express X H2O, uh, Bass Pro Shops, um, those are all good brands that can deliver a good product. And the final item that's not worth it is fishing pliers. We live in a world where there are fishing pliers that cost $700. That's pretty much a cheap entry level kayak. You can buy a good pair of fishing pliers for $25 to $50 depending on the brand. And if you're just looking for a pair of pliers that doesn't need to be a fishing multi-tool, you can literally go to the budget section at your big box store and buy a pair of pliers 
for a dollar. They will work just fine. Save your money, you just have a good pair of $25 to $50 fishing pliers, and you can use the rest of that money that you just saved and buy yourself some more fishing lures. I hope you found this video helpful and valuable. Let me know in a comment down below what's one fishing item you think is worth every penny, and let me know one fishing item that you think is not worth the money. See you on the next one. Happy fishing, and God bless.